we do want to get to what we know about the crash. We have not heard about what may have caused it. We do know what happened a little after 7 a.m. and multiple agencies are investigating tonight. Joy Wang was at the scene shortly after the crash and spoke to witnesses who just tried to help. APD says the basket actually rode the power line. You can see exactly where it happened, seeing that damage right behind me and that gondola detaching from the envelope, from the balloon, eventually ending up at the intersection of Central and Uncer. It is a sad day in New Mexico. You know, this is our tradition. And to see a balloon go down like this, you know, it's, it's heartbreaking. You're looking at viewer video taken moments after the deadly hot air balloon crash. It sounded like gunshots. It was like a loud boom, boom, like quick three and then that's when I seen the balloon already going by itself and I was like well where's the basket so I, I figured the basket would be on this side of anything and sure enough it was it was there and Joshua Perez was one of a handful of witnesses who rushed to the scene and I was just thinking save these people save these people you know and you could just see them in the ground no one was moving the gondola in flames the balloon nowhere to be found uh, another guy I uh, brought a fire extinguisher he rushed all there started spraying it off and, and, uh, the other guy turned off the propane. When first responders got on scene, four people were dead, including a male pilot and three passengers, one man and two women. Police say their ages ranged from 40s to 60s. There's a fifth individual who was transported to the hospital. Hours later, we learned he didn't make it. Fatal accidents are, are pretty rare. Chopper 4 flew over the crash scene as multiple agencies, including police, fire, the FAA, and National Transportation Safety Board, looked into what caused the crash. Power was out for hours as PNM waited for investigators to give them the okay to turn it back on. It's just a, a, a very tragic situation. Our officers, you know, who arrived first on scene, you know, had a tough time when they when, when they saw what they saw. It's just, these things are just horrible. Just... Viewers sent us chilling video of what looked like the balloon falling without a basket. The envelope later found just two miles south in someone's backyard. The balloon itself you know, traveled with the air somewhere else, but yeah, when they hit the lines, the basket, you know, fell. Devastating. An entire community in love with the art of ballooning and the pilots who vowed to carry that tradition. That's, I just, you know, I wish we, we could have done more. Joy Wang, KOB4.